we'll talk about Abby training in FlexiCapture. So here we're talking about machine learning training. We'll talk about how to set up a project by training, how to add training to an existing project, and about auto learning. We can train standalone fields. FlexiCapture will come through machine learning to know where the field data exists. So here we're going after an order number. It's boxed and either an administrator or a verification operator could rubber band that area and FlexiCapture by creating a Flexi layout on its own through machine learning can come to know exactly where to find that data. We recommend between three and ten documents, although training can happen in as few as one documents. What FlexiCapture does to create this logic is it finds a number of anchor text strings and it then uses relations from those anchor text strings towards the target area to focus in on exactly where it should find the target field. So if this particular field here moved up, there's enough dynamic relations here where that's not going to throw off our search area. And when we do have a final search area, that search area isn't going to look for any text, but rather it's going to look for text that comport with certain alphabets and certain length restrictions. So what's really nice about this automatically created layout is it's a layout that you can open up and take a look at. It is not a black box. Uh, you could even make adjustments to it if something wasn't working quite correctly. So it's, it's really nice to have machine learning doing all that heavy lifting for us, but it's also really nice to know exactly what decisions it made and to be able to see the logic in a flexi layout and make adjustments if needed. We can uh, train repeatable groups as well where the software is first going to target a first line, then a last line, and then those lines between the first and last are considered any lines. So it considers this first line and then this last line and anything in between could be really an quote unquote an any line. If field locations vary greatly. So we're talking about without manually building a layout, just rubber banding the areas that need to be captured and letting FlexiCapture create a layout based on that rubber banding activity. And if our documents are really quite different one from another, then you may be best to create document variants. And we'll just take a look at what this looks like. So we can have a document definition with one section, and that section could have multiple variants. So if we're talking bank statements, we might have a bank statement document definition with one single section, but variant one could be bank one, variant two could be bank two, and on and on and on. So in this case, FlexiCapture learns how to classify each variant differently so it knows not just that this is a bank statement, but which type of bank statement. And then when a verifier verifies that data, then the kind, uh, as I mentioned before, a Flexi layout is actually built for you. So what ends up happening is you get training batches for each variant. And if you need to go and make adjustments to those training batches, add content, delete content, you're doing that at the variant level. So it's very powerful what we can do here. And um, really, if you find yourself getting unpredictable results through training, and you take a close look at the documents that you're trying to train, and you're noticing that there are quite a bit of differences, let's back up a little bit. One thing that you may be noticing 
is that these anchor text strings are varying quite a bit, then you may want to create a table vari a, a variant, a document definition variant within a section and classify that variant differently and then there will be a resulting training batch uh, for that variant. We'll continue on this topic in our next PowerPoint.